Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're going to look at another application of a GNU radio and we're going to actually try to make a SSV transmitter and we're going to try to receive that uh, transmitted signal on uh, using RTLSDR dongle. So the idea is quite simple. Uh, one of the most common transmitter that we have available and that that just simplifies everything for us is actually a single sideband or SSV transmitter and we're gonna make that transmitter in GNU radio and we're gonna try to see if we can modulate a signal we will try to send a signal using our transmitting device in our case is going to be hack RF on the same same laptop I have my RTL SDR dongle which is also connected so we're gonna visualize this signal on GQRX so that's the idea so before we move on to this, before I, I start explaining this uh, flow graph to you, let's just quickly look at how does what what is an SSV transmitter looks like. I mean, um, so this is basically the basic diagram of this. So whatever the audio signal, whatever your modulating signal is, you take that signal, you will amplify it, and then you will multiply this. So when you think of balanced modulator and a mixer circuit. Just think of it as a multiplication function that is available that that we have available in GNU Radio. This is exactly what you need to think of. So I have my audio signal, which is my modulating signal, that is being amplified by an audio amplifier, and um, then it is being mixed with my carrier signal using balanced modulator, mix or which means multiplied together. So let's quickly look at this flow graph, part of this flow graph. So I have my audio source, so I'm using an audio source, which is going to be my audio mic source. And this is being multiplied by a multiply constant block. Of course, this is being controlled by an audio in by one of these sliders. Audio in slider, which is this basically, which is controlling the gain. Uh, then uh, it's going into a throttle block. You don't need to put it, but it's just there. Uh, I need to have this signal converted into a, because this audio source is actually a real source. I don't have anything like complex and float or anything. It, it just only exists in a real thing. So that's why this is an orange. So I need to convert that into a complex form. So which I did using a flow to complex block. Now, if you were to look at your flow, I mean, uh, the actual diagram of an SSV transmitter uh, is basically being multiplied together. So this is exactly what we're doing here. We're multiplying it by a signal source. And this signal, this audio signal, multiplied by your balanced modulator. Now, if you were to look at this, the output of this modulator is going into a high pass filter and low pass filter. So if you have high pass filter, you'll be selecting upper sideband. If you have low pass filter, you can select LSP, lower sideband. So how do we normally implement that? I could have done that the output is going into a two individual filter, but instead of that, the output of this guy as you can see the wire, let's trace, trace this wire, is going into a bandpass filter. Now this bandpass filter will definitely have a property of a low pass filter and a high pass filter. It will keep higher frequencies based on the bandwidth. So this is, that information is there. So I have set a low cutoff frequency at 16.3 and high cutoff frequency at 19.3. This, these are the frequencies that human can hear. That's why I have chosen these, this frequency range. Now, after this bandpass filter, you have both of these signals coming in. This is also going into a mixer block as well. Now, if you were to think of this mixer block, this mixer block is nothing but a multiplication function. So, signals are going to be mixed together. Mix means you will have a high 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 frequency component and you will have a low frequency component because when you multiply two signals together, what do we normally get? We get FC plus FM or the high frequency component plus FM, the modulating signal. I'm just giving you in general terms and then you will have a low term. When you keep a FC plus FM term, the high frequency term, basically you're up converting it and when you're keeping it a negative term, which means FC minus FM term, you're actually down converting it. So we're going to keep FC plus FM term. So we're going to multiply it together. This is exactly what we're doing. This is being multiplied together. Now, if you were to look at it, I need to have a rational resampler block. Now, what does this rational resampler do? It actually interpolate your signal and 
and down converts it. I mean, it's sort of like it's a rational resampler. It resamples your SAMP rate. So 192 kilohertz was coming in previously. So by having a rational resampler rate, uh, because I want to, because I need, I need this. The reason I, I was needing this, the reason I was needing this because, because I want to transmit the signal with a SAMP rate of about two mega samples. All right. Because I was working with 192 from, uh, from the flow graph, as you can clearly see 192 kilohertz. And I need to get about, uh, two, uh, sample, two samples. I need to have a two sample rate. I mean, sample rate of two. So what do we do? So we multiply it. So if you take 192, let me just open up my calculator. So if you take 192K, so this is 192. So 192 multiply, multiply by 11, that gives you 2112. Because this thing is in kilohertz, so this this sam new sample rate is 2.112 samples. So after this rational resampler block, everything would be uh, uh, would be 2.112. That's why if you notice it at Osmo Com Source, I have chosen a sample rate of 2.112 mega samples. I hope you're getting it. Now in this, uh, so you gotta have some type of a multiplication so you can think of it this linear rf amplifier as being an amplifier that is amplifying your signal i gotta have a selector switch because i want to have a functionality of a continuous wave sort of like morse code type of a thing when i press the button then i'll be able to transmit a signal when i unpress the button i won't be able to that's why there is a selector block and the output is being visualized by a frequency signal so let me just quickly run this flow graph and once i run this flow graph so the signal is being transmitted by my hack RF. I have chosen a frequency of 435 megahertz, 435.2 megahertz. All right. So this is the sample rate that I have chosen, uh, and and any all the rest of the stuff is just self-explanatory. Uh, let me just play this real quick. All right. So, so this is right now, nothing is being transmitted unless and until I press the continuous wave key, sort of like a Morse code. So it's just start transmitting. So let me just press this and you can see the RF out here. You will see that it does coming out. There we go. So sort of like a Morse code key, uh, did dash type of a thing. It's a continuous wave key. Whenever you press the button, it will transmit. When you unpress it, it will not transmit. So how we can verify this in an SSB transmitter. The best way is my laptop is connected to GQRX now. I have GQRX opened up. Now let's look at it. Let's simultaneously look at this. I don't know, to left. Let's play this. Here we go. So let me just hit play. So there is nothing that you can see that is being transmitted right now. Of course, I can I can I can improve the gain and things like that. But now let me press the continuous wave key. Hello, here we go. You can see that? Can you all see this? So based on this, now we basically what we're doing. This device, this is configured to have my RT LSDR dongle, while this guy is configured to have my SSB transmitter. Uh, will configure to have an SSB transmitter, which is uh, which is actually Hack RF. So let's look at it one more time. Here we go. So this is uh, one way of making SSB transmitter. Uh, I hope you like this small video. If you have any questions, leave it in a comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.